Hi everyone, Matt Kleskowski here with Lightroom Killer Tips, and uh, this time we're gonna take a look at a, at a trick that I use all the time um, when it comes to working with the sky in an image, because uh, there's a, a tool that we have called the graduated filter. What the graduated filter does is, is it simulates using a neutral density graduated filter in the field. So we had those you know, square plastic filters, and you could hold it over uh, in front of the lens, and it would darken the sky, and it was clear at the bottom, so the foreground would stay you know, just, just the same. Um, they were great. The problem that I always had with them in the field and that you'll have with them inside of Lightroom or Photoshop too, is that if, if you're not out in the middle of the ocean and taking a picture, so the, the, hor the horizon line is the only thing that's there, typically you'll have trees or mountains or something that kind of come up over that horizon line and those get darkened too. Well, we've got a great little trick here to, uh, to help fix that. Uh, I'll go ahead and just, just develop this photo from scratch and you can see where we go with it. Uh, overall, I would make it a little bit warmer with the, uh, the white balance sliders here. Uh, exposure, this is a tough one to move right now because the sky is too bright, we could darken it, but the foreground's too dark, so we, we would brighten it. So when that happens, uh, I just jump over here to highlights, pull down the sky, go over here to shadows and open up some of that foreground a little bit. Whites and blacks, I just hold down my Option key on Mac, uh, Alt key on the PC, and click on the white slider, and everything goes black. Then you just drag it to the right, and when you see a couple little specks there, that means you have a good white point. Do the same thing over here, click on the black slider, drag it to the left, and you'll get a couple little specks. That looks looking good. Add a little clarity for some contrast and detail. And then finally, I use saturation to just kinda, just kinda enhance the colors a little bit. So here we are left with really still, to, to me, what is, is still too much of a bright sky. I could bring the exposure down, but that darkens the entire photo. So what we would do is we'd go grab the graduated filter here, and uh, I'm gonna double click on the word effect, which sets all of the sliders to zero, and then just bring my exposure slider toward the left, and then what I'll do is just drag downward and watch what happens here. So it does a really good job of kind of toning down the sky. This is before, and that's after. The problem that we have is that if you look, what's happening? It's, it's not only darkening the sky, but it's also darkening, look at look how dark the tree line over here got. So that's where we can jump in here with shadows. And this is, this is what I find one of the little things that a lot of people miss is because we think, you know, we get stuck on, well, I wanna bring the exposure down on the sky, but it does have those negative effects. Well, you just come over here to shadows and open up the shadows on whatever got darker as a result. Because it's the shadows, because it's not the bright parts of the photos, shadow slider only works on those dark, deep shadows. Because of that, it leaves the sky totally alone. So look, I'm gonna move this, the shadow slider back and forth. The sky doesn't change at all, but we just open up that foreground a little bit. And you don't wanna to go too high because you don't wanna make it brighter than the rest, but we'll go in here and we can bring out some of the detail, especially some of the detail that we lost over here on the right side of the photo. So the next time you're using the graduated filter, keep that in mind. If there's an effect that the graduated filter kind of introduced into the photo that's negative, you can go in there with some of the other sliders and you can counteract it really easily. My name is Matt Laskowski. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.